Hi again! In the last video I showed you how I built the QMX Plus transceiver. After I had completed it, it was time to power it up and to install the firmware. After I had installed the firmware successfully, I could already hear the first signals on the air. My QMX Plus was alive. Now it was time for some initial testing. I first measured the output power and the current on each band. One of the coolest features that the QMX transceivers offer is the hardware test menu that you can access through a terminal program. I did the first checks and everything looked very good, so I was sure glad to see that. Then I proceeded with an RF sweep through the different bands 160, 80 meters, 60 meters, 40 meters. 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, 15 meters, 12 meters, and 10 meters. I did not bother to optimize anything because I just couldn't wait to get on the air now. When I tuned over the band for the first time, I could tell that there was a contest going on, so I decided that I would take advantage of this situation where stations have pretty good ears to copy low signals. So I decided to give it a try and call a couple of stations.
Now these first QSOs really showed me that it's a lot of fun operating the QMX Plus. In the next steps I will try to optimize output power and uh, maybe play around with the digital modes and make use of the uh, external GPS unit and uh, other things. So I'm in for more fun and uh, hopefully get around to do another video on it. Hope you had fun 73s from DL9SCO.